Hey, um, so I'm going to show you uh, in this video how I'm going to use my new stencil with um, Stencil Girl. Um, the, uh, I call it the High and House stencil um, because for me it represents um, a kind of a portal uh, for inner houses and the house is a really big deal for me it's one of my main symbols and I'm so thrilled about this stencil and how stencil girl ma managed to made uh, my sketches into a, a beautiful uh, stencil so what I'm going to show you now is how to use it with distress um, oxide and what I love about this stencil is that you can use it uh, anywhere you want. You can just turn it around and in every every side of it, there is, uh, it makes sense. And um, you can use it uh, uh, only half of it like that, or only the, the eye, or maybe you can just use cluster of houses. But what I'm going to show you is a really nice technique and I'm going to take um, this um, distress oxide I'm holding my stencil and I'm just um, starting to put colors and I'm adding the colors as I go I'm very intuitive about it and I might make the warm warm color on the top and now I'm going to move to the more cold colors on the bottom now I'm going to uh, lift it wow I love it so much it's so beautiful and I'm going to let it dry for at least 10 minutes before I continue and then the second stage is I'm taking the stencil with the color on this side on the top and with this I'm kind of I I have to hold it but with the second hand I'm kind of um, putting the all the leftovers of the colors into the stencil and I can also um, you see it immediately it's coming and I love I love this dress so much it's so versatile so you can use Every time you use it, you get a few um, prints. And this is the second print, which is more browny because all the colors are kind of um, mixed. So we let this dry as well, and then we continue. And now after 10 minutes, the distress is already dry. Um, and almost dry actually and I'm going to take um, a wet um, wet brush and kind of play with the color so um, you see it's still it is still bleeding but not too much
I want to add, um, actually add images to it. I'm going to take uh, images that I prepared specially and I'm going to glue them. I actually want to add a little bit of a background color um, and I think blue is exactly what I need here and I'm going to I'm going to use a very light kind of blue So I continue a little bit off camera, so um, I didn't notice that I stopped uh, filming, but you can see how I, I started to add uh, colors and images and uh, just part of the stencil left, left out and I, I love it that it's like that. Um, I don't think you necessarily need to use all the stencil. And before we say our goodbyes, I just wanted to show you a few more examples of art that I did since I got my stencils. I'm so excited about them. I can't stop using them. This is the second stencil from the set, the, uh, the tree sideways that you can use. Uh, I mean, uh, it's the tree is in the middle, but you can actually use it like that and create like a, a two, two sceneries like that and like that. Or you can just use it as it is. And um, in this work, I combined the two stencils to create a, um, a story. Uh, that is what I love to create, stories, visual stories. Um, this is what we just started. Um, in this one, I actually took the stencil and uh, uh, divided it into two parts. Um, so you see how versatile it is. Um, in this one, I used botanic printing and uh, I doodle in the background. Um, this is the, the same stencil that we worked on, but I, uh, I colored it with uh, Tombow markers. Um, this is uh, the same one on, on top of um, a watercolor background and he, here also I combined the two stencil the eye and the, uh, the two sides of the tree and this one again I created another story with uh, one side is the half of the tree and then the eye and the houses so uh, there are so many possibilities I hope you enjoyed this video and I will try to make more videos in the future See you.